Hi guys, we are working on the Rio Grande Runabout Kit. This is a model kit that Round 2 is going to be re-releasing in the next few weeks. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this build. We've done an interior for it. We're putting in all the lights for the model kit. And there's lots of room inside, very easy to put in lights. Uh, we're doing very simple lighting using LED strips, pre-wired LEDs, and a little bit of fiber optics. I think I have most of my lights in place now, so I want to kind of show you guys what I've done. So starting off, we wanted to light the nacelles. Looks complicated here, but we're going to break this down for you. So what we have is we have an LED strip here. It looks blue because I kind of sprayed some clear Tamiya blue over it to really make it have a blue cast. That blue over the LEDs, the blue grills, and I'm going to have some blue diffusing material to really make it a blue glow and kind of dull it down a little bit. Now, on that LED strip, I have mounted a red pre-wired 12-volt LED right to those connections on that LED strip. Then that LED strip is soldered to this red and black wire. That's where it's going to get its power. So the power is going to come from the main part of the ship to the LED strip, and then the red LED connected to the front kind of connectors of that LED strip. So all that's running on one wire. That wire is then going to run up through this area, kind of these pylons, and into the main part of the ship. Along the way, we branch it out, and we have an orange LED right here that we're going to use to point at these front grills. So we're going to have an orange glow right in there. But very simple to do, just LED soldered to an LED strip, the uh, power connector soldered to the back, kind of cut right here to power another LED, and put into the main part of the ship. Now the next thing I wanted was I wanted some running lights. So the runabout should have a red light here, here, and here. And on the other side, we should have a green light here, here, and here. So we're doing that with fiber optics. We took a little pin vise and drilled a hole here and here and stuck our fiber optic through there. Next, that fiber optic cable comes out of that hole and into a hole we drilled right here so we can put it up through that pylon. Same thing, comes in through the hole, comes through this hole and up into that pylon. There you can see they're coming up out of that hole running through that pylon, and right here we're going to put them into the main part of the ship. So we've done that on the left and the right part of the ship, and that's where the fiber optics are going. We also wanted to light these little uh, thrusters. These are the maneuvering thrust thrusters for the runabout. So just little pinpoints of light. We put in a couple fiber optic strands. Once again, just drilling a hole with a pin vise, pushing the fiber optic through, and gluing it in place. Now on the inside, it can look um, a little complicated, but it really isn't. Those power connections from the nacelles have come into the main part, and we're just joining them all together so it can run in parallel. So the red wire from the uh, starboard nacelle comes through here. The red wire from the port nacelle gets joined to it. The negative wire from the port nacelle gets joined to this connection. The negative from the right gets joined to that connection. And then on those fiber optics, we've shrink wrapped those fiber optics together. So here's the fiber optics from this nacelle. Here's the one from the back. These all should be red, so they're all shrink wrapped together. And then we've got red LED shrink wrapped right to those fiber optics. Same thing from this side. We've got the fiber optics uh, from the starboard nacelle coming in. We've got the fiber optic from the starboard running light in the back. All three of those shrink wrapped together, then shrink wrapped to a green pre-wired 12 volt LED. And then all the negative connections for those that are joined up here, all the positive are joined up here. So we have one master positive terminal for the runabout, one mass, master negative terminal for the runabout. We also have a little LED strip to light the front cabin and one I still need to tack down that's going to power the rear cabin. Those are joined together as well, which means that when it comes time to power it, 
we'll be able to just power them uh, just connecting one uh, power line to both of these connections. Here we have everything powered up just to make sure the lights work. Now things are not going to look correct until we put some diffuser material in. Everything, uh, most about those nacelles, is going to look far too bright until we can have some diffuser layer to kind of knock that brightness down. But a lot of good things happening here. We have red lights coming up our fiber optic for our running lights. We've got green coming up on the other side for our starboard running lights. We also have those pinpoints of light on our RCS thrusters. You can see that we've got a lot of really great orange glow for these front nacelles. And clearly on this video, there's going to be a lot of blue light. Kind of turning around. Now, if, if on the earlier part of the video you saw, I have my diffuser material in place for the red Bassard collectors. So that red Bassard collector looks good right now. It looks even um, and kind of dull. It's not lighting everything up the way those blue lights are. Um, these blue lights will really need to be knocked down with that diffuser. Um, but pretty happy with these uh, amber lights that we're going to see there. And overall, I think that's pretty successful. We'll add some diffusers to the nacelles, um, add in some material here to kind of make it more than just looking like you're looking into a window. Uh, and that's where we are on lighting the main part of the runabout. Uh, but of course, there's an optional part that we're working on, and that's going to be the sensor pod. Okay, and here's our sensor pod. Um, now, the sensor pod wasn't always lit on Deep Space Nine. I think around season two, they started lighting it. And all it really had were some yellow lights on each side. Um, there's a lot of great detail in this sensor palette, and I didn't want to really break that up by putting on like headlights. So I drilled six little holes on each side and put six fiber optic strands inside of there. Now inside those fiber optic strands run about a centimeter in. Then they're all shrink wrapped together right about here and then shrink wrapped to an LED. So there's an LED on this side, an LED on this side, and they're both shrink wrapped to those fiber optic bundles right in front. Then I soldered their wires together and ran a positive line out one side, a negative line out the other but a real simple kind of glow just for our sensor palette. Once again, I do really like that. I think that's fun. It's not overpowering, uh, just kind of lit up. I like that I have little spots instead of just big floodlights, uh, but I, I think that's a great look for the sensor palette. Those little connections, we're gonna have to drill some holes once we put our pylon covers on some holes and run these wires into the middle of our runabout as well. We're finishing up here with just a few shots of the inside of that sensor pod since so it didn't make it into the video. And a few final shots of the runabout as the lighting cast stands as it is right now. So what do you guys think? How do you light your models? What do you think of this lighting? Uh, what ideas do you have for the build? What comments do you have? Please put any of your comments down below. And we'd love to ask to, for you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, share the video. All Scale Trek has been around for a couple years on forums, but we're trying to branch out, uh, grow this YouTube channel to show all of our members projects, hopefully do a lot of project reviews for our new upcoming Star Trek models, and really kind of grow as a good place for the Star Trek modeling community. Your likes, subscribing to the channel, and your comments will definitely help us do that. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Have a great day.